So the Grenfell fire, John, has um, uh, showed up the appalling, the horrific Grenfell fire has shown up the appalling um, uh, inequality in this country. The issue for us, look, we've been, Jeremy and I have been campaigning on housing for nearly 30 years and beyond, and we've got highlighted time and time again, sometimes the squalid living conditions that our housing crisis has caused, and it's never been worse than now. Grenfell's an example of people being put in conditions which are clearly were unsafe. Way back in 2004, I raised on behalf of the Fire Brigade's Union the need for sprinklers in, in accommodation like the tower blocks themselves. And since then, time and time again, Jeremy raised it again in recent, in recent years, time and time again, governments have ignored us. Why have they ignored us? Because they're refusing to invest in social housing in this country. When Labour gets elected, we're going to build a million new homes. Half a million of those are going to be council homes. That's what we need. In addition to that, we were going to introduce a property tax on the basis of overseas owners because overseas owners are buying up properties in London, using it for speculation rather than for housing provision, and at the same time often leaving them standing empty just because their value goes up even then. It's scandalous. We've got to address the housing market in London so that people don't live in squalid, unsafe conditions. And a lot of people upset Trees May out last night schmoozing uh, Tory donors and Look, country least, in crisis. Yeah, we've, seen from, we've seen from the publication of the recent figures from the Electoral Commission, the Tories ra raised nearly four times the amount we did in terms of donations for their election. Where did their money come from? Rich people often representing corporations that eventually get tax cuts as a result of them. I just think it's unacceptable really. Where did our money come from? Trade unionists and also individual members selling a small amount of money. And today we've got protests, John, and people uh, protesting about cuts to emergency yes. services like the police, fire, the NHS, nurses. People have the right to protest and we've got the People's Assembly demonstration on Saturday week, 1st of July, and I'm hoping large numbers of people turn out there and get our message across, ending austerity. Caution is though, keep it peaceful, otherwise we lose the message.